Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi Razwan. I'm a stress engineer at Ceratech. Today I'll be going over how users can group elements based on their output value. In this example here, I've got a model which appears to be a simple bracket with a hole in it. To demonstrate this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a group. This group is for elements that I'm interested in that have a value of greater than 750 PSI. Once I've created the group, I can go ahead and go to the group tabs here, specify element and specify ID. From there, I can go ahead and click on the pick options and specify by output. You'll notice then that another window will pop up. From here, I'm going to go ahead and specify the output sets that I'm interested in, which is output set 3. Once I've pressed OK, FEMAP will then ask me what the criteria is and the vectors that I'm interested in. I'm interested in solid von Mises stress. And for my selection criteria, I'm going to specify greater than 750. From there, I go ahead and press add criteria and then press OK. You'll then notice that the IDs of those elements are now populated within your selection window for the groups. Press OK here. I can then highlight those elements to see which elements are the ones that have greater than 750 PSI or isolate that by showing just an active group. This feature can be really helpful in trying to understand where the hot spots of an element group might be or a model might be in whichever given analysis that you're analyzing. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.